If you're like me, you've got files on your PC that you haven't touched in a long time, and they're just sitting there taking up space. Storage Sense is a way that I can automate the process of freeing up that space and making sure my PC is running at its best. Stay tuned to see how to set it up. All right, before we get started, if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel down below and click on that bell to get notifications to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming content. All right, let's get started setting up Storage Sense. And, and as I said before, you know, one of the things that we, we're probably all guilty of, at least I know I am, is we have files on our machine that, that we haven't used in a long time. And I mean a long time, right? Uh, temporary files that I don't really even know are there. Uh, files that I've downloaded months ago and maybe used, but don't need the downloaded file anymore. Uh, or, you know, and, and, I, and I forget to go get rid of those and delete them when I'm done. And they're just taking up space on my hard drive. And if I run out of space on my hard drive, or even if I just get low on space on my hard drive, my PC can ru start running slower and slower. Uh, updates can start to fail. It, it's never a good thing to run a PC low on free disk space. So that's why Windows has something known as Storage Sense. It's a way that I can automate the process of freeing up some of that space on my hard drive. It'll take care of that stuff that I keep forgetting to do. So let's take a look at how we can get this set up on a Windows 10 PC. So I'm gonna to go to my uh, Windows logo and right above there, I'm gonna click on that settings icon, the little gear. And then I'm gonna to go to system up here in the top right left-hand corner. I can tell the difference between right and left. Uh, and in here, we're gonna to go to storage right over there in that navigation tree, all right? And when we click on storage, you'll see the first thing you see right up at the top is all about storage sense. And it tells you what I was just telling you, free up space by getting rid of files that you don't need, like temporary files. When you download and run something from the internet, a lot of times it unpacks a whole bunch of files to install the application. But once the application's installed, I don't need those files anymore. Or graphics and images that it's cached to speed up the loading of web pages. These are temporary files. And yeah, they help sometimes, but they can also clutter up and take up space when I don't need them anymore. Uh, recycle bin is another one that I'm very guilty of. By default, the recycle bin is pretty large and it'll allow you to put a lot of trash in there before you have to empty it. And there's really no reason, right, to keep that around, to, to, to hold that in there. If you threw it away, yes, it's nice to have that safety net of, oh, I can go to the recycle bin and get it back out. But if it's been a month or two months or three months since you've deleted it, odds are you don't really need it anymore. And so we can go ahead and get rid of it. But who can remember to go over there and empty the trash can, right? That's what Storage Sense is going to do for me. And so we're simply going to turn it on, right? And honestly, you could stop at this point. And it's going to use its default settings, and it's going to help keep your PC running good by getting rid of all of those unnecessary files. But let's take a look at the settings and see what we can configure and if there's anything we want to change. So right below where we turned it on, all right. You'll see a little link. It's hard to see with the dark theme, but it says configure storage sense or run it now. So let's see what they mean by that. Let's click on that. And here I get a breakdown of the different storage sense capabilities. And the first one I want to look at is right up here at the top, right? And this is run storage sense during low free disk space. So basically once I turn it on, it's not actually going to run until I'm running low on space, right? Which kind of makes sense. If, if there's no need to get rid of them, if I'm not running low on space, I really don't have to. Um, so I can, I can leave it at that and it'll run when necessary. Or I can hit this drop down list and I can set that schedule. I can say every day, every week, every month. You know, if you're one of those tidy people and you want to make sure you're getting rid of that stuff uh, on, a, on a regular basis, set your schedule. You want to do it every day? You want to do it once a month? Whatever works for you. All right, um, so that's how we can configure how often storage space runs. Now, what it's getting rid of and when is decided right here. When it comes to those temporary files and that, and that downloads folder in the recycle bin, you'll see there's a check mark there that says delete temporary files that my apps aren't using. So what that's going to do is every time it runs, whether that's left for when you're low on space or every 30 days or whatever you choose, Whenever the storage sense runs, it's going to delete temporary files that aren't being used anymore. So that's a good thing. We're also going to look at the recycle bin and see what's in there. And by default, if there's anything in the recycle bin that's been in there for over 30 days, it's going to remove that. 
We can change that. I'll zoom out and show you what that drop down is, list looks like here in just a second. And then your downloads folder is another one that I know I'm very guilty of letting bloat because I download things, I run them, and they install or do whatever, but the executable is left behind. And I, I go and look in there, and you know, downloads, it'll tell you a week ago, a month ago, when you sort the files, and some of them, it doesn't even have a date. It just says, a long time ago, right? Makes me think of some uh, uh, space-based movie uh, theme, but uh, yeah, it's like, okay, do I really, really need those? I can't even run that on my current operating system, yet I still have it in my downloads folder. Kind of silly, right? All right, so let's take a look at, at what those settings are for the, um, uh, the the recycle bin. 1, 14, 30, or 60 days. So how old does something have to be in the recycle bin before it's considered removable by storage sense? And then for the downloads folder, by default is never, all right? And then you can also set it to 1, 14, 30, or 60 days. So know those, those are defaults, right? Always temporary files. 30 days on the recycle bin and never on your downloads folder. So if you just turn it on and walk away, that's what it's going to do. If you want to customize that, you can come in here and choose your options from this drop down list. Now, there's some other capabilities of Storage Sense that are pretty cool as well, but it has to do with OneDrive. And so if you're using a Microsoft account when you're logging onto your Windows 10 device, then you have access to OneDrive. OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud storage, and you get a certain amount of space for free that you can put stuff in. And then it's really nice because I can access that OneDrive from any PC that has internet access, right? So it's a very handy way to make sure my files are safe, protect them from failures, uh, and have them accessible wherever I need to get them from. So that's cool. Um, when we work with files from OneDrive, right? When we open up a file that's stored in OneDrive, my PC will download a local copy of that file that I can work with, right? And so I can work with that document. Now, if I don't work with that document for a while, do I really need to keep it a copy of it locally? How about I move it back to where it's online only? I'm not losing it, I'm not getting rid of it. I'm just saying I don't need a copy on this particular PC anymore. And that's the idea behind this portion here, all right? So you can see this is my OneDrive ACI Learning. That's the company I'm working for. Uh, and I can see content will become online only if not open for more than, and currently is set to never. So it's not gonna touch my files by default, but I can change that. I can say, look, if I haven't touched that file in 30 days, go ahead and put it back in OneDrive and remove the local copy and help me free up some space. If I click on it again, it's just gonna download another copy. So it's like it is gone. I didn't lose it, all right? Uh, then there's some for, let's see, I, there's another file. This is a file or a folder that I'm syncing with something known as SharePoint. This is a corporate level uh, uh, sharing platform. If you, a document library and, and in collaboration uh, software. If you're in a corporate environment and you have that, you'll see this. If you're not, if you're just a personal PC user, you won't see things like this. You would just see the OneDrive for your personal account, which I see here. And that's going to behave the exact same way as the OneDrive for ACI Learning that I just talked about. And notice by default, all of them say never. So it's not going to touch anything unless you change the, uh, the drop-down list. And when you choose the drop-down list, you've got those same options, never one day, 14 days, 30 days, and 60 days. So you can choose how long it has to be unused before one uh, uh, um, storage sense will consider it stale, basically, and then put it back up in the cloud, all right? Uh, and I'll show you an example. Like if I open up File Explorer, I've got a folder here of a bunch of images that I use at work, and I want you to take a look at these icons right here, all right? The one that has the little cloud next to it, that means that's a cloud file. It's stored out in OneDrive. There is no copy of it locally on my PC. The one with the green check mark here in the white circle is going to be a file that exists in both places, it's in OneDrive and it's on my local system because I've used it recently. Um, the one with the dark green circle and the white check mark means it's going to be on my PC and I don't want anybody to change that. So uh, Storage Sense will ignore it. When it looks at how long it's been since a file has been touched, if it sees that it's a always available offline, it won't mess with that. It won't change it. It won't put it back up in the cloud for you. This might be an important file to me. And I don't want to take a chance of if I'm not connected because the ones that have the cloud, 
if I'm not connected to the internet, if I'm at a place where I don't have any internet, I can't get to those files because they're out there in OneDrive, right? Um, the ones that are on my PC, I can get to even when I don't have internet access. So you can make a file available offline, right? I can right click on this and I can choose always keep it on this device. And when I do that, it will download a copy of that file, right? And it'll put that green circle with that white check mark there saying, okay, this one's gonna always be available no matter how long it's been since you've touched it, all right? So that's the idea behind these settings here with locally available cloud content. Choose whether or not you want that to move those back out to the cloud if you haven't touched them. So down at the bottom is the option to run now, right? When we first clicked on that link, oops, and that is not what I was trying to do. Uh, when we first clicked on that link, it said configure the settings or run now. Here's the option to run it now. All right, so let's do it. I'm gonna click clean now, and it's gonna go through the process of, and you'll see it says down here, cleaning up files. This may take a few minutes. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't think we'll really wait for it. If we waited long enough, some of these files that currently have the white circle, I haven't touched them since, gosh, it looks like April. They might very well become a cloud icon, right? They're gonna move back up into the cloud. They're not gonna be, yep, in fact, you can see some of these are starting to have that cloud icon pop up on them. Right, uh, So it's starting to move those back out to the cloud and free up space on my local system. It should also be looking at my recycle bin and my temp files and getting rid of those as well. So if you're looking for a way to automate removing temporary files and cleaning up your PC and making free space available, Storage Sense is the way to go. Stay tuned for more exciting Windows 10 content coming your way.